Hello and welcome back to another TFT video. Uh, today I've got a super fun one for you guys. Uh, we're going to be hitting the Mr. 100. Pretty hype gameplay here for you. Uh, super, super strong units. Kind of a weird hodgepodge of synergies. It's it's just a pretty good time. So we're just going to hop straight into the video. Uh, this was the whole intro. Not even going to cut it. Just... You'll see, I guess. Basically, we're going to start off by picking up a sword on the Fiora, and we're going to be getting quite a few items in the first few rounds. So very first round, we do pick up a glove, pick up a second Fiora, and in this game, we're going to be going Blade Masters Chrono for most of the mid, mid game, and then transition into a Valkyrie build. So Valkyries, I think, are super, super strong. I've only kind of just realized I've always known that MF can be pretty powerful, but Kale is also super, super strong as well. So early game, we do pick up a tier two Fiora. And so I put all of my items onto her and we do put in the Blitzcrank and the, um, Caitlyn for the Chrono buff. Fiora is able to ult super, super often, so she can be super tanky and deal quite a bit of damage in this early game, especially with the Shoujin. We also pick up a Shen right away, sell the Blitzcrank, and we do level up to put in the Blade Masters. So now we do have Chrono Blade Masters, which I think is super, super strong. Blade Masters just works so well with Chrono. Fiora, again, doing tons of damage, being super tanky. It's very, very nice. Gonna be winning all these early rounds. Actually, we're gonna be winning every single round. <laughs> feels pretty good so we'd re-pick up the blitzcrank and put him in instead of the caitlin which i think probably would have been a better decision to do last time because i think blitzcrank is stronger than caitlin uh, at level one and with no items these rounds aren't even particularly close i mean that one wasn't so far off but we still have two units left two star units we're very very strong at this point we are last pick, so we will be grabbing the Cloth Armor on the Vi, actually. And we pick up a second Vi. So we, we already have two Vi's very, very early. And uh, Vi is pretty good with the Blitzcrank for the Brawler buff. Just makes us more tanky. And the longer the round lasts, the more strong we will be with the Blade Master Chrono. It just scales with time. We do decide to level up early. I think leveling up as early as possible to keep your win streak is super super important you definitely don't want to lose that win streak it is so strong this guy brings it pretty close but we do beat him he was on a win streak so feel pretty good about winning that one uh up on the krugs we are just looking for any more items we can put onto the fiora or the vi potentially we do pick up a sword a cloth and another uh glove so I was already thinking about making a uh, bloodthirster for the Fiora to make her live even longer. So I do create that on her and put in the Blitzcrank for the um, TF. Now the TF is tier two, but I like the brawler buff just for more tank uh, and Blitzcrank can ult right away. We also do pick up the tier two Blitzcrank and we do grab our, our first Kale. Now, I think Kale needs more units to be super strong, so I think the uh, Fiora is going to be stronger for now. We're going to keep her in with those items. We do put the Thief Gloves onto Zaya, which I think is a pretty smart thing to do. Our Zaya actually ends up doing quite a bit of damage. She gets pretty good items here. Red buff, not bad against uh, the Garen mech. Doing tons of damage. Same with Fiora. Or two carries primarily. As well as Blitzcrank actually does quite a bit of burst to the back line. Here we're going to be looking for um, the... We would want the tier if we could get it. But unfortunately that guy was kind of guarding it. So we just grabbed the um, Negatron Cloak. Which is not too bad. We do level up here and put in the tier 2 TF. Still at 50 gold. Super, super healthy. Uh, no one else is even... We're not worried about anyone at this point. We know we're super strong and just going to get stronger. We just need to hit the Aurelia, and we do. So now we do have all six Blade Masters if we want to put that in. Going to roll down. We actually pick up the Tier 2 Vi, which made me decide not to put in six Blade Masters, which I was going to do that. 
but uh, since we hit the buy, I decided against it because I think tier two buy would be better than three tier one units. Blade Master also needs the Chrono buff. Chrono buff, not Corona buff. <laughs> Coronavirus going crazy. Here up against the wolves, gonna pick up a rod and a Nico. So we do make the Rage Blade on the Fiora, which is a perfect item for Kale as well. We will be putting the Rage Blade onto Kale when we get her to level two. We could level up, level her up right away with our Nico's help, but I think we do decide to wait a little bit just in case we roll an extra one. Zaya gets insane items here, the Infinity, Bl Infinity Edge with the extra Thieves Glove, or extra Glove, I guess it's not Thieves Gloves. So she'll just be doing tons and tons of damage, and she does end up doing quite a bit of damage in this round, as well as our Fiora and our Vi, actually. We do make the Dragon Claw on Vi, which is pretty good for her. She's super tanky, can get tons of CC off, maybe alt even twice. And as you can see, the next top person is going um, Sorcerer Star Guardian. So we do want the Vi to be extra tanky there. Up against another Blade Master guy, absolutely demolishing him. He's level 5 or something. We're level 7, not worried about that at all. Here we would love to get the Rapid Fire Cannon. That would be a super nice item. War Mogs would also be good. Unfortunately, both those get taken. So we just go for the uh, Frozen Heart, which is not a bad item for Vi, because Vi will pass by lots and lots of units, applying the proc to uh, everybody she passes by. So we will be putting that onto her. And at this point, I know I'm not going to lose, basically. So I just do decide to wait one more round to level up. Going to level up to level 8. And then try and roll down to hit some uh, higher cost units. Not even a chance for that guy. Super easy to take him out. 14 game win streak. Crazy, 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 insane. Do level up to level 8. And we put in... We finally uh, sell the uh, Fiora. And we decide to use the Nico on the Kale. Because we never hit what we needed to. We will put the Spear of Shojin onto the Ezreal for now. But I think we definitely want to... Uh, switch that out eventually and here was definitely a good idea to put in the kale she does tons of damage and uh we were up against the next strongest guy so that would have been probably our most likely chance of losing we do hit the thresh and the mf which is super awesome those are both units we want in our late game comp and we do put the shojin onto mf now we're going to be rolling down instead of uh, leveling up because we want to hit some upgrades. Second Thresh, hitting some Cho'Gaths. Here's when I realize I'm not going to go six Blade Masters, so I do sell all those extra Blade Masters. And we do pick up a second MF. No upgrades there, but we're super, super strong. Knocking that guy out. MF doing tons and tons of damage. Feeling super good about this one. Kale didn't even do that much damage last round because we won so quickly she couldn't get her ult off. We do get a tier 2 Ezreal. Ezreal is very important here for the blaster buff on the MF. It just makes her ult that much quicker. We do hit the tier 3 Blitzcrank as well, who essentially just one-shots someone in the back line every single time, uh, which is super nice. MF getting a huge ult and just winning so convincingly. We're so, so strong now. Looking for the tier 2 Cho'Gath to put in instead of the Vi. Picking up more Kales, picking up a... Uh, Echo, just because Echo's strong. We do get another MF. It would be super funny if we could get a tier 3 MF. I think that would just be so powerful. And we're in a good position to do so. Kale and MF are doing so much damage here. Those Valkyries are just so powerful. Here on the carousel, we're going to look for any item we can put onto the Kale or MF. Unfortunately, we're last pick, which is the bane of being Mr. 100. And not tons of good items to put, so I do pick up the um, Ionic Spark to put onto the Vi. I think it's a super good item. It synergizes with Vi very well, similarly to the 
Frozen Heart, where when she passes by units, it will proc on them and make them have reduced uh, match resistance. That one was actually looking pretty close, but then MF was able to just one-shot everybody. Here's another guy going Valkyrie. Uh, absolutely destroying. And we've now picked up two upgrades for MF, so she is just so powerful. I think we got shield and larger wave. Or no, we got more waves. I think we got three upgrades this game for MF overall, which is phenomenal. So, so powerful. So here we're up against the last two guys. We got a mech sorcerer build with a random one-star echo. But that is just not going to be a problem for us once MF gets her alt off. She just one-shots the mech. And we were able to take this guy out pretty easily. Kale doing tons of damage as well. Here against Kane, we do get a really, really nice item. We get the Runins, which we can put onto the MF. So now she'll just be ulting even sooner. Super, super fortunate. Very good item for us. Still looking for the... Um, Thresh upgrade, and also I'm collecting some other Blade Masters to switch in for the Zaya. We don't need more backline, we need more frontline. So I'd rather try and get a tier two Master E or tier two Aurelia to put that these gloves on. So I think that would just be a little bit more effective than the Zaya. MF just one shotting everybody. Last unit was a Kale. Doesn't stand a chance. Knock that guy down to three health. up to 98, which is exactly how much gold we needed to stay above 50 and level up. We just put in the random Thresh. I do decide to roll down. We'd hit the tier two Thresh, and I put in the random Echo. Gonna sell the units we're not gonna use, like the Lulu. And here we are up against the other, um, the other guy. Unfortunately, MF gets um, stunned, but doesn't really matter. She can ult twice instantly in a row. And this round was actually pretty close. We had our Valkyries left over, but we were able to win that. MF has a huge shield on her from the shield upgrade we got, so we're feeling pretty good about that. We finally get the tier 2 Aurelia, so we're going to put her in instead of the um, Zaya, And we do hit the third upgrade for MF. We're also one Kale away from the Kale upgrade, and look at that MF ult. So much damage, so, so huge. Here we're going to go for the Giant Spell, actually, to put onto the MF so that we can finish your item, and we hit the Tier 3 Kale as well, and the Tier 2 Echo. So we've hit all of our upgrades, all of our units. We are unstoppable, Mr. 100. 23 rounds, one in a row, going on 24 so 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 powerful infiltrator gangplank doesn't stand a chance <laughs> mf just one shots him and then the second mf one shots everyone else and it's gg mr 100 coming in clutch once again i want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe for more and i'll see you all next time peace